Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you one of my all-time favorite soup recipes. I make a variation of the soup, the roasted red pepper bisque in the colder months in the winter time. It's very hearty and creamy and delicious and I make it dairy-free with coconut cream. But for today, since it's summertime, already warmer months are here, I'm making a lighter, crisper version. So let's get started. Okay, so the first ingredient is these beautiful red bell peppers. And what I'm going to do in a minute is actually roast them under the broiler and I'll explain that in a second. The next ingredient is shallots or you can use a yellow onion. I didn't have any on hand, so it's totally up to you. It really doesn't make much of a difference. And then I have some parsley here, some garlic that I've crushed, bay leaves, how beautiful are they? So pretty. And some chives, which I'm going to use to garnish. And then of course, for the base, I'm using this um, organic vegetable broth that I purchased. You can make your own if you'd like and then for to cook with, I'm actually going to use this new brand that I found. It's a pure sesame oil and it's really healthy to cook with. So I'm gonna use that instead of my regular grapes, grapeseed oil. Then of course I have some sea salt and some black pepper. And at the very end, we're going to puree the soup. So I'm going to use my handheld immersion blender. So I'm gonna get started on the peppers and all you wanna do is just bake them, like I mentioned, under the broiler for about 15 minutes on each side. So what I'm doing is I have some oil right here and a brush. So I'm just gonna start to brush them with the oil to help with the roasting. And just make sure you get all the sides coated, nice and even, like that. All right, so last pepper is nice and coated with the oil. So I'm just gonna leave them just like that on the side on a baking sheet and pop them into the oven under the broiler for about 15 minutes. So what you're looking for is basically to have all the skin of the peppers to get nice and charred, because that's what's gonna give the peppers that really delicious, smoky, roasted flavor. And then what you wanna do after about 10 minutes or so, you're gonna go ahead and turn them over to the other side and basically do the same thing. So here we go, I'm gonna pop them into the oven and be back in about 10 minutes. All right guys, so here you go. I just took them out of the oven and this is exactly what I was talking about. You see how it's all roasted on all sides? So that's perfect right there, but you don't wanna handle it because it's super, super hot. So I'm gonna let it rest for, you know, just cool down and we're gonna get started on the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna add some oil to a big saucepan and you wanna use something that has, you know, very high sides because it's gonna be easier when we go to Use the immersion blender so it's not gonna splatter everywhere. So I'm starting off here with the shallots and I'm just gonna saute them for about three minutes or so until they start to get really tender um, on medium high heat right there. All right, so while that's cooking up there to, to speed up the process of cooling down, I'm just gonna cut the ends of the peppers and it's just gonna let the air in into the peppers so it's gonna just cool down a bit faster. So once it's starting to cool down a bit, you wanna just start to basically see how the skin comes right off. That's how easy it is once it's all um, roasted. So here you go. You just wanna continue taking off the skin of all the peppers and make sure to get rid of all the seeds from the inside as well. All right, so now that it's the onion is getting all tender, I'm gonna just add in the garlic and just stir it up. So after about 30 seconds or so, I'm gonna start adding in the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna start with vegetable broth and I'm gonna add the parsley and the bay leaves. And of course, last but not least, the roasted peppers that I have already taken off the skin and cut up into about bite-sized pieces. Just add that right in, perfect. All right, so once the peppers are in there, you wanna bring it to a rolling boil and then reduce the heat to about um, low to medium and then cook for 15-20 minutes covered and we'll be back in about 15. All right, so once the soup is all ready, you wanna remove it from heat and then take out all the bay leaves. Just take them out, we're not gonna be pureeing them. Okay, and as a very last step, all you wanna do is just use your immersion blender and just puree and blend everything until nice and smooth. Okay, you guys, so once this soup is nice and pureed, it's all finished. And all you gotta do is just plate it and give it a nice little taste. So it smells so good and the color is absolutely beautiful. So here we go. Mm. Oh, it's so delicious and refreshing. I think it's perfect for summertime. So here you have it, guys. 
definitely give this soup a try and let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and definitely follow me on Instagram for daily pictures and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye my loves!